Safe school bus crossings are one of the most important safety issues for school bus drivers to understand and implement when transporting students. Any lapse in focus could result in deadly consequences. In addition, lack of focus can cause serious injury to young riders. Here's a heads up. Occasionally, students crossing the street have been struck by other vehicles. And in rare circumstances, students have been struck by their own school bus. In this video, we are going to thoroughly go over the safety procedures for safely crossing students. We will stress the value of the most important tools that the school bus offers to ensure the safety of students, including lights, mirrors, stop signs, and other devices that warn motorists that students are crossing the street. The video will be broken down into three sections. In addition, we will cover special circumstances that bus drivers should watch out for and be mindful of every time they are preparing to leave a bus stop where students will be crossing. The video will also go over more issues such as what to do if you encounter a red light runner. Time to get started with our demonstrations. Let's begin by covering the tools the bus can provide in helping assist with safe crossing procedures. Safe school bus crossing procedures are critical when transporting students. However, a driver is not alone. A school bus provides drivers with many tools that can be used to help identify students and vehicles around the bus and give warning to motorists by controlling traffic by the use of lights and signs. It is important that you utilize the tools on the bus to help ensure a safe crossing experience. Also, make sure that all equipment on the bus is working properly. Here are some examples. What is the use of engaging warning lights if they do not work? Imagine the terrible consequences that may ensue. That is why it is important to take the time to make sure all mirrors are properly adjusted and the lights and warning devices are in good working condition. Safe crossing of students is dependent on properly functioning equipment. That is one of the reasons that the pre-trip inspection plays such a pivotal role. Here are some of the key elements you should be checking. First, check the alternating flashing amber warning lights. When a bus approaches a loading zone, these lights are the first warning signs for both motorists and students. Make sure all ambers, both in the front and in the rear, are operating properly.